Over the last five years, Irish Railway Models has become to Irish Freight Modelling what Murphy Models has been for Irish locomotives and passenger coaches. They recently made their 42-foot liner flats available as a standalone product, so it's time to take a closer look. Hi, thanks for joining today's review. So the first thing we're going to do is a short unboxing. We'll follow that up with a close-up view and a 360 view of the model. Uh, we'll then do a running session, followed by a summary, scoring and final recommendation. Okay, let's get on our way. Okay, so let's look at the unboxing. So this is actually my first Irish Railway Models um, model. Um, I haven't been lucky enough to pick up some of the earlier ones. It was a bit slow off the mark, so I missed out on a lot of the earlier wagons I might have been interested in. Uh, I, I was interested in these. Um, I have bought some of the uh, uh, the beer kegs and the containers that go with these, so we'll be looking at those later on when we do running sessions. So this is the um, the Irish Rail 42-foot bogey flat wagon, uh, which has been used quite extensively in some of the other offerings from Irish Railway Models and um, this gives you essentially three wagon number options here uh, with this particular box and i suppose what's different to some of the other irish Railway models um, offerings is that that's it you don't have um, different offerings with different wagon numbers uh, running numbers uh, which they did provide on, on obviously a lot of their other uh, models like the tara mines uh, etc. So maybe that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, so you're kind of stuck with these three numbers unless you go and start changing them. Um, so this is kind of giving a, a quick uh, piece of information out of the box uh, regarding the, the, the 42 foot wagons and where they were used. Um, and you know, they have been used for things like containers and the, the Guinness uh, kegs. And, uh, and I'll say we'll see that in the running session. And uh, so it's giving a bit of a, a spec for that. So let's take a look at these. I've only ever seen photographs, so I've never seen these in real life. So this should be pretty interesting. So the packaging looks pretty good, for starters. And, uh, pretty strong. And there's a, a comprehensive enough detailing kit here, uh, by the looks of things. And you can see the little pieces there for the tabs for the containers. Um, there's the drawbar the couplers and some other options so that's a pretty interesting detailing kit so let's take these out and they're all separately wrapped in plastic so again that's good to see and there's a bit of weight um, i guess in these models and they are metal uh, which is something i hadn't realized uh, but I, I guess they would be very light if they weren't um, so that's where the weight is coming from there's a, there's a nice metal um, under frame here and the bogey pieces Look to be plastic actually, yeah, they're plastic. Uh, but this gives a, a, a very nice feel and, um, and gives a nice level of detail and the ni nice kind of bauxite finish to it, um, which would be similar to the uh, colouring on the Terra Mines wagons. Um, and so, a, ni a nice level of detail internally here as well that you can kind of see. Uh, so, they have put quite a bit into this. Uh, this, this, this model looks, looks really nice. Uh, you can see the spring for the uh, couplers there on either side and at least the spring is accessible so if it does pop off you can access it easily and, and put it back on. Um, it does have spring buffers so that's again a nice to see. And So pretty well there's a lot of detail on here, a lot of detail on the bogies here already uh, that you can see. Uh, so there isn't the extra parts are really to facilitate certain, uh, certain loads etc. The wheels are quite a shiny, you know, they're a shiny kind of chrome silver. Um, I'm surprised they didn't put some sort of colouring or weathering on those. Uh, they just look a little bit bright. And the axles there, as you can see, look shine nice shiny axles, but they do look shiny, uh, which is probably, uh, I think people would probably be interested in um, weathering these. Adding a little bit of weathering would probably be no harm because they do look very shiny. There's nothing on them at all. Or just uh, just the bare metal. Um, okay, so so far so good. These these look look pretty nice. Look pretty impressive. I am looking forward to uh, trying out 
the different load configurations. I can see the slots here for the containers. Uh, so these should work very well with the C-Rail containers and with the IRM containers. If you've got the CIE ones, uh, they should work very well. And I say they should work with the Guinness uh, kegs as well. Um, very flexible, so you can put two 20-foot containers or, or 40 foot on here. And I think you'll get about five of the beer kegs onto this. Um, so that looks pretty good. Um, nice detail, nice weight uh, in the body, and we'll see how she runs when we get her out on the track. And I'm going to build up a rake of nine of these in the running session. So I'll put a mixed load across each of them to kind of give you a flavor for uh, what they look like with, you know, 40 foot, two, of 20, two uh, 20 foots. Uh, uh, the beer kegs etc. Uh, we'll get a look at a mixed uh, freight um, rake when we do the running session. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so now we're going to take a close-up view. Uh, so this gives you a view of the bogies and the rotating axle boxes actually. That uh, is one of the features. You'll see the nice uh, legends there, the, the nice uh, white lettering that's been called out. A lot of additional uh, plastic detailing parts added to the, the metal frame. And you can see a lot of the different slots there to take the options for containers or the, uh, the beer kegs. Uh, really good registration there. And then a nice little CIE logo there. And again, you can see the bogies again and the rotating axle boxes on those and some nice little extra inserted detail underneath the bogies and finally at the very end here and uh, the NEM couplers and there's options obviously for uh, for close coupling as well so now we're taking a 360 view and I've kind of shown the basic f flat here along with the beer keg option and the uh, container option and these these were sold they're, they're been sold out right now but they were sold as separate uh, parts and I think the beer kegs are really good I really like them actually uh, I think they'd go well on any uh, layout not just a, an Irish layout uh, the CIE uh, containers there and these are really good quality containers and they've got some extra weight in the base so they actually sit better uh, on on the actual flats than say your average sea rail container uh, so that they're really good quality and they, they fit perfectly obviously on these uh, but I really do like them. That extra bit of weight in the base of the container really helps. Uh, so you can get a good look at the, the flats there and how what they look like in terms of the different configurations. And I think they are very authentic and I think they're very good quality. And they, they do actually look uh, look quite good on the layout. There's no doubt about that. So now we're going to get into the running session. So we're running with uh, double-headed um, 7078 um, class 071s and you can see the kind of mixed configurations here. We've got the, uh, the beer kegs there, we've got the 40-foot containers, uh, we've just got a single 20-foot on the end there. And we'll get this from another view. So we're starting at a relatively low speed. Uh, you probably can't see them too well, but the uh, the axle boxes are rotating and they, they, it, it does uh, work quite effectively, though uh, you do have to get a little bit close up to see them. And in general, I found these um, very smooth. Um, you will hear a little bit of squeaking, you might hear it on this particular video, that they, they, they do get a little bit of squeakiness in the wheels, but uh, that's fine. And in general, I didn't have any problems at all. I, I did have one issue uh, reversing on a radius two track uh, with the standard out of the box couplers, um, but I think that would be resolved if you did use the uh, drawbar couplers, the close coupling, uh, because they're physically or mechanically uh, better, uh, particularly for a reversing type operation. So we're just coming through here and we're gonna start increasing the speed now a little bit. Now I didn't push these too far, they are freight wagons um, and so from a speed perspective I think I really just went up to a prototypical 60, 65 miles an hour as far as, far as I went on this particular running session so we'll be speeding up just after this. And again this will give you another close up look of the, uh, the actual flats. 
and you can probably hear a little bit of the wheel squeaking going on there in the background. There is a full running session uh, with the class 071s um, which has a full volume so the volume is reduced here so that I can talk over it. Uh, so you can watch that and that goes through all the speed levels uh, a bit more so if you want to get a closer or longer look uh, please check out that, that running session video. There will be a link in the description for that. So now we're up at the 60-65 uh, the uh, speed level. And very smooth. Um, you can see them coming through there. And really no hitches at all. This is on a ra combined radius 3-4 curves here on this, this circuit. But I did run them on radius 2 as well, so uh, no problems there. Apart from that reversing issue which I mentioned. And so very, very smooth. And so we'll kind of bring this to close now. I'll do one last run here and we'll finish up the running session. But I uh, think very nice runners on the track. Anyway, we'll just see them coming through here. Okay, I think they would look pretty impressive, so that's the end of today's running session. Okay, so now let's get into the summary. So we've been looking at the Irish Railway Models 42 foot flats. Uh, it's a triple pack with the part number there. Uh, it comes with individual decoration and running numbers for the three, and you can see the, the actual numbers there. Now there is only one pack, so you don't have other packs with different running numbers as you do for some of the other wagons from um, um, Irish Railway models so that's just something that's not available for these. They come with a heavy die cast uh, chassis so these do come with rotating axle hubs and they do work very well and there's no problems with them. These are designed for an easy 21 millimeter gauge conversion and you'll actually see that when you look at the uh, at the wheels underneath. So some of the extras, there's a good detailing kit, and that does include the NEM close coupling bars. Uh, and it does, there's a lot of factory added detailing parts actually on the model when you purchase it. And it does come with uh, plastic sprung buffers as well, which is a nice added feature. The unboxed weight uh, per flat is 52 grams, which is actually surprisingly small. Uh, it, it, they feel heavier than that, uh, but then they are very basic a frame of a, of a wagon there isn't a lot on them so i suppose that that's not to to be surprised they, they actually feel heavier than, than than they weigh and the retail selling price for a pack of three 115 euro uh, that is the rrp and uh, that's as of october 2020. so if we look at the scoring uh, the running performance is a four and a half star i did uh, have a derailment uh, when i was reversing through radius two curves so i think that was partially down to the actual couplers but overall i didn't have problems in terms of the regular performance as you saw during the running session so that was uh, when doing some shunting operations you might get some little issues with the out-of-box couplers uh, if you're using the close couplers you wouldn't i don't think you'd have had that same issue actually if you're using the drawbar couplers you wouldn't have had the same problem appearance and detail detail i'm giving a five star I really think these are top-notch models. In terms of a freight uh, wagon, uh, they really do have uh, a lot of detail. They're very authentic and very pleased with them. And I, th I just have to, g I think these are a five-star model from an Irish uh, rail perspective. In terms of the extras and variants, uh, just the main drawback here, there's a nice detailing kit and, uh, and lots of nice little extras on the model. Uh, I suppose you don't have the variants is where the, you, you're missing out here. And I suppose I would have probably liked to have perhaps seen a weathered variant, uh, which other vendors do, like Dapol. And I know I've seen responses from IRM on this, and they kind of leave it up to the modelers themselves. I think it is nice to be able to buy an off-the-shelf weathered option, because it does, avo obviously, it, it avoids you having to go and, and, and do it yourself, so to speak. And it also preserves the integrity of a new model. It's a new model with weathering. Uh, obviously, when you go adding your own uh, customized weathering, depending on the quality of that weathering, you may devalue your model, so it can impact the resale price down the line. Uh, so it is nice to get weathering out of the box, I think, and uh, leave it up to people to choose if they want it or not. And they can always add to it as well, obviously. The build quality and packaging, I'm giving a five star. I think the packaging is excellent. 
and uh, the build quality is excellent so um, a five star there price value is, is four star I think at 115 pounds for three of these it's it's probably a little bit expensive but you typically pay a 15 20 percent premium anyway for for Irish rolling stock the volumes aren't the same as for say UK rolling stock so you will always expect to pay a bit more so a, a four star I think it's it's not bad value when you consider the quality uh, you get you're getting some very nice uh, uh, wagons here and overall I'm actually giving it a five star as I say here in the summary it is authentic these are very well built uh, they run well uh, they look good and they really have been a game changer over the last while for Irish modeling uh, they're the foundation for quite a number of the other offerings from Irish Railway Models and it was nice for them to offer them as standalone uh, options as well and uh, unfortunately they have sold out very quickly uh, so the real challenge for people would be acquiring these and th what you might have to do is actually look at some of the products uh, that they're part of things like the uh, the spoil wagons or the, or the weed train they are part of those and um, you're going to pay a little bit extra for those obviously because you're getting the extra uh, parts associated with the offerings but I think you will get the underlying uh, liner flats obviously as part of that and you can uh, you can reuse them for other other functions so that may be in the near term the only way you'll get access to these they come highly recommended uh, I think these are a must own for any Irish railway modelers uh, who are modeling with uh, freight and um, they really are excellent so it was a pleasure looking at these models today and I, I really am looking forward to seeing some of the future offerings from Irish Railway models including the, the Class A's. So I hope you enjoyed today's review. We'll hopefully see you on the next one and in the meantime, happy modelling.